Will, it was a tough defeat in the capital on Sunday, losing only our second game in 15 against London Broncos. Bob, when you look back on that game, how do you see that result? What Just what went wrong for the lads? I think the performance as a whole, like looking back, it hurts. During the, obviously during the game, it was tough. Um, we can't really, no excuse. We had a good 17 went down there. No, there were a lot of talk about us missing players, but um, the 17 we took were far capable of uh, going and coming back with a result. Um, just one of them, hopefully, I think. A bit of a blip and uh, no better game this week than Bradford to come back to and uh, get a reaction. And to find yourselves 20 0 down at half time, what was the talk like in the dressing room? I imagine there was a, a few choice words for the lads. Yeah, it weren't good at all. I um, can't probably say what time I had to say, but um, yeah, it weren't brilliant. We needed a reaction, and I don't think we got that reaction, so hopefully put that to bed this weekend. And there's no better game to get back on the horse, as they say. A Bradford Derby, Summer Bash, Telefice game. You're both Halifax lads, you, you both understand just what it means to the Halifax fans to play against Bradford and to win these games. So you've had a look at Bradford in the preview, Bob, what are you expecting from the Bulls? Uh, I think obviously off the back of last week and I don't think their form's not been great either. But I think when it comes to these games, form goes out the window, doesn't it? And uh, a lot of emotion. Um, these games played on a lot of emotion and uh, I think me personally what happened last time I need to put a few rights wrong and make up to the boys. Hopefully Kelly can get more than 12 minutes and do a bit better than he has been doing. <laughs> and Will, obviously like I say, a Halifax lad yourself, just was, what does it mean to you to play in these Bulls derbies and yeah. how much would it mean to get a win over the old yeah, enemy? It's, it's massive. Um, I don't think I've been involved as much as this old gate here, but um, <laughs> yeah, they're massive and I'm going to take them as, as they come and hopefully can make it one to remember at the Summer Bash for us boys, yeah. And it, obviously a game at Headingley, it'll be the first time You've played there yourself, Bob. I think you will have played there in your Super League yeah, days. Yeah. Um, just not since how it's been. Obviously, it's a new ground now, isn't it? So, but nice. But just how big of a boost is that to have a, a game like the Summer Bash at a great stadium like Headingley? Obviously, it's something fresh as well for us. The Bash is normally previous been at Blackpool, uh, hasn't it? So, um, I always enjoyed the Blackpool one, but so this one under lights at Headingley, a big new fancy stadium. I think it's really good, local, so we should get a good crowd. Um, looking forward to it. Yeah, we're expecting the Fax fans to turn out in uh, in the numbers and, and fill that stand with blue and white. You must be looking forward to playing in front of them and them to create a really hostile and fantastic atmosphere against Bradford. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not far down the road for them to travel, is it? So we're hoping to get a good a good crowd and hopefully hear them banging that drum as usual and getting behind us and hopefully we can turn out for them.